Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, news was just released today that Samsung may be taking the in-screen fingerprint scanner to the next level, and while this has already been previously discussed about incorporating this functionality into its smartphone, this new information suggests it's also experimenting with adding it to its smartwatch. Alright, so let me start off by giving you a little bit of background. Samsung actually filed the patent for a wearable device equipped with fingerprint scanning technology last year and it's only just recently been approved now. Now, as I said at the start, this is not actually a new initiative for Samsung because they've been working on making in-screen fingerprint scanners available for their smartphones for like years, even though that technology has not actually made it into a device yet. However, rumors are that the upcoming Galaxy S10 will feature an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, which will be definitely very cool, but remember that there's already been a few Chinese smartphone brands that have been launched with the same technology in a number of their devices. However, if the new reports are true, then Samsung would actually be the first company to offer such technology in a wearable device, and of course, I'm specifically talking about its smartwatches, and most likely an updated version for the Galaxy Watch. Now, unfortunately, the patent does not reveal whether Samsung will be using the more common optical sensor or an ultrasonic under-display fingerprint sensor for its smartwatch, so we'll have to wait and see which technology they prefer to go with, but my bet is that if they're already focusing on adding an ultrasonic scanner for their smartphones, then it seems plausible that they would want to incorporate the same technology into their wearable devices. Now, the only information revealed about the patent is that the sensor is capable of detecting touches with a certain degree of pressure, which Samsung actually refers to a force touch, which is kind of interesting, and only within a specified area on the display. So while this is still very cool technology, the next question is, well, how would that functionality be useful on a smartwatch? Well, one area I think that would be useful would be for using your watch to authorize transactions. So instead of entering a pin or even just placing your watch against a terminal to make a purchase, an added level of protection could be to have the in-screen fingerprint scanner, particularly if someone else obtains your watch and tries to make purchases. And perhaps it could even be used as a way to limit access to your watch if you take it off. So for example, sometimes when I'm at work, I actually take my watch off because I find it more comfortable when I'm typing a lot. And if I get up and I leave my desk, the watch could automatically go into a lock mode whereby only the fingerprint would enable you to activate it again, just like you can do on a smartphone. Perhaps this extra layer of protection may deter, let's call them snoopy people, from looking at your watch, such as to see your messages or your contacts, or to deter potential thieves, as they wouldn't be able to use your device without your fingerprint anyways. Those are just a couple examples, but who knows, Samsung most likely has other reasons to take advantage of this technology as well. Now, before you get too excited, just remember that patents are never a confirmation that a device will actually be made with this technology, although it is an interesting idea and it may be on their radar because the expectation is that the upcoming S10 will already have this technology, so at least it's plausible to utilize the functionality in other product lines. So, what do you guys think? Can you see this being a useful functionality for you? And what other uses can you see it being used in a practical way for a smartwatch? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, I'll keep you guys posted on future developments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends because your support helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.